How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. So the new Star Wars Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition has gone live. You can now purchase it brand new for $40. Or if you are an already existing player, you can upgrade for $25. And there's been a lot of hype around this new edition. If you are getting the Celebration Edition, it comes with all of the appearances that are in the game. It comes with all of the emotes, all of the voice lines. Basically, anything that is unlockable with credits in-game since launch will be unlocked for you included in the price tag of the celebration edition well i've seen a lot of people on reddit i've seen other battlefront channels and i've seen just a lot of people talking about how everyone needs to go out and buy this or upgrade but no one's really talking about all the different options that are out there for example if you want the game brand new and you've never played battlefront 2 before and this is your first time getting into it well there's a number of different options you have you can either go out buy it for 40 dollars support ea You'll get everything unlocked, which is fine. That's probably the most straightforward option you can go with. But with the release of the Celebration Edition, that means all of the regular editions are going to be cheaper now since it's the older edition. That's how it always works with video games. If there's ever a Game of the Year edition or any sort of new edition later down the line, the original goes cheaper. And Battlefront 2 has gone on sale many times. I've seen it as low as $5 and you can get this game used. If you are one of those people that like to buy used games, I recommend you go to GameStop. On GameStop right now, I see it listed for 10 bucks. Well, if you buy it used for $10, I mean, they have that guarantee at GameStop that the used games work. If it doesn't work, you can take it back. Buy it used, $10, make the $25 upgrade, boom, you just save five bucks. And I know some places has it even cheaper than that. I know eBay, people have it listed for $5. Well, buy a used game for $5, make the $25 upgrade. You just spent 30 bucks. You saved $10 for the same amount of content. And then there's still places like Walmart and stuff that has it in the like discount bin where you can get it just as cheap for brand new. And then there's tons of deals all the time, like buy one, get one free deals and stuff at GameStop, especially around the holiday season. You might be able to buy two games, get Battlefront for free, and then just buy the upgraded edition. So there's tons of options. You don't have to spend $40 just right off the bat. You can make the upgrade for $25 and save yourself some money. And if you have EA Access, you get a bit of a discount with that too. Like for me, I have EA Access. If I wanted to make the upgrade to the Celebration Edition, I think for me it's only $22 instead of $25. Uh, I could be wrong, but I know you save a couple dollars on that. And I imagine the same would probably apply if you are buying it straight off of uh, the, the EA store and you have EA Access access it would be cheaper. So I just wanted to point out that you do have some options. You don't have to just spend $40 or spend $25. You can save a little bit of money. And I've seen the Reddit and I've seen channels saying that we need to support EA. We need to show them that we want to buy Star Wars stuff. And that's fine. Like if you don't have the time to grind out the credits to get the skins, because I know some of these skins can be a bit of a grind, especially the legendary skins that cost like 80,000. That's gonna take you a long time to save up those points. So if you wanna make that upgrade, go for it. There's no problem with that. But what I don't understand is that those of you that have tons of credits, and you don't need to spend extra money because everyone has the option to buy crystals in game and somebody added it up like if you wanted to buy every single outfit emote voice line everything in the game with crystals it would be like hundreds of dollars i think it was around 800 dollars if you wanted to buy everything with crystals so it makes sense to get the celebration edition in that case like just don't buy crystals crystals are pretty much obsolete at this point but if you already have millions of credits or hundreds of thousands of credits and you already have everything unlocked just from playing the game Game, then why would you upgrade to the celebration edition? I had multiple people ask me in my stream like are you gonna upgrade? Are you gonna upgrade? Like, no, I play this game almost every day Why would I spend extra money if I get nothing in return and their arguments that oh you need to show EA and dice that You want to give them your support and you want more content and I keep seeing that brought up a lot everywhere and no, that's just dumb. There's a million reasons I can name off why that's just stupid. If you guys have enough credits, you put in the time into the game, that's showing your support. If you have millions of credits, you've done your part for EA. You played the game, you told your friends about the game, I'm sure. Your friends have probably seen you playing the game as much as you did. Maybe they got interested in playing the game. The point is, if you have millions of credits or hundreds of thousands of credits, if you have everything unlocked, you put in the hours into the game. You don't need to give them extra money. Point is, they're not giving you anything extra. You already have everything unlocked. 
or can unlock everything. Like at the core, this is a $60 game that was promised they would do a live service approach and all the future content would be included of the original price tag of $60. You already paid for all the content that was added. That was part of their advertising. That was part of their promise. You don't need to spend any extra money. Like, you shouldn't just throw money at EA if you don't have to in the hopes of EA seeing, oh, well, we made an extra $10 million off Battlefront 2 this month. Maybe they want extra content. Maybe we'll give them more content. Like, that's just dumb. Like, don't give EA any more money than you have to. If they haven't gotten the idea at this point after two years, people still love Star Wars content and they want more Star Wars content and more and more players have been coming back as they've added more content to the game. Like, if they don't have the idea by now, then they're never going to get the idea. Plus, EA and DICE don't even show as much love to Battlefront as they do some of the other games. Like, Battlefield 5, $60 game, has a live service approach. But in one year, Battlefield 5 has received more content in one year through live service than Battlefront 2 has in two years. Battlefield gets more frequent updates, they have way more developer support, they've added weapons and skins and tons of gigantic maps and vehicles, and they've added tons of stuff to Battlefield. Meanwhile, you look at Battlefront, and Battlefront gets an update, the update breaks something, you have to wait another month to get that previous update fixed. Uh, you wait three months, you just get an announcement about a future announcement, they'll release skins here and there, and they still, since launch, have not added a single blaster to the game for the regular base infantry. Now this game's come a long way, they've added reinforcements and heroes and a few maps and uh, quite a few skins. Like I love all the content that we got to the game, but when you compare it to some of EA's other games which have made less money, like Battlefield wasn't a success for them, but they still give Battlefield more support than they do Battlefront. And Battlefront still hasn't even fulfilled the promise of adding new blasters. So until EA treats Battlefront 2 like they do some of their other games that they own, I'm not going to just throw extra money at them just to show my support. Like I said, I paid for all this stuff in the $60 price tag. The game wasn't finished at launch. The game finished in a broken microtransaction mess with the promise of free content included in that $60 price tag for the remainder of the life of the game. So that's what I paid for and that's what I'm getting. But I'm also against microtransactions in general. When you look at a game that's free to play and they charge you like $20 for a skin, that's okay. Like Fortnite, like all their good skins are about 20 bucks. Well, the game's free. That's why they cost so much is because the game's free. That's fine. But when you have a $60 game and they charge you five, 10, $20 for skins on top of the price you paid, for the base game, then that's when I think it's scummy. But I give Battlefront the pass because they give you the option to earn the credits in game. You can unlock everything. You don't have to spend money on crystals. But for the pre-existing players that have been playing this game for the whole two years and they've earned everything in game, just don't feel obligated to toss money in their direction with the hope of them adding more content to the game. The point that I'm just trying to make is that you've done your part, you've put in the hours, you didn't give up on the game. You helped keep the game alive and keep the community alive for this rough ride for the past two years. You don't have to spend any more money. The Celebration Edition is there just for new players. Like if EA wants more money, then they need to earn that themselves. They've added a lot of content over the course of two years. If new players come and they want to spend that $40 or if they want to spend that $25, that's fine. Then, then EA earn that. They earn that purchase from that new player. But for me personally, until EA shows me that they're going to at least treat this game the same as they do some of their other games, I'm not going to just throw money in their direction. I'm not going to buy the skins if I don't have to. I've already shown my support by putting in 3,000 plus hours into this game. But that's just my two cents. You guys can do whatever you want. I just wanted to put a different opinion out there. All I've seen so far is everybody just praising it and telling people to buy it. And I just don't think that's the way to go. I want to look out for your guys' pockets more than I do EA's. EA makes billions of dollars a year. I would rather see you guys save five, 10, $15 compared to just throwing money away in just hopes of them adding more content. So I, I hope that this video just gives everyone a second opinion 
it gives you guys more options to think about. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out another video. Follow me on all social media at Swanee Plays Games. The links are down in the description down below. Be sure to join the Discord. Hit that subscribe button if you are new here, and I will talk to you guys next time. We would be honored if you would join us. You cannot resist.